There is currently a record amount of new wind power capacity under construction, rapidly growing wind's contribution to an increasingly clean and cost competitive U.S. energy mix. Tom Kiernan, CEO at American Wind Energy Association, and Roy Salkin, an 18 year veteran of the wind industry, join us today with more. Thanks for being here, y'all. Tell us more about American Wind Week and why we're celebrating. <laughs> well, American Wind Week is an opportunity to celebrate the extraordinary momentum in the American wind energy industry. We are now the cheapest source of new electricity on the grid. We're also reliably on the grid because the wind is always blowing somewhere. And over the last three years, we've been the fastest growing profession or the second fastest growing profession in the country. So there's a lot of momentum. We currently have over 100,000 jobs in this country and growing. So it's an exciting time for the wind industry as we're adding employees, as we're investing in rural America. So a lot to celebrate this American Wind Week. So what role does wind energy play in the U.S. economy then? A couple of things. First, wind energy industry is investing in our economy. We currently invest over $1 billion in rural America. And these are challenging times in rural America with the tariffs, et cetera. So the $1 billion that we are giving each year to farmers and ranchers to lease parts of their land and to state and local taxes is new money that these counties and communities and, and farmers and ranchers have that they didn't have. We're also building more manufacturing facilities. We now have 500 manufacturing facilities. So we're a key economic engine in this country. Now we do have wind energy along with solar and other sources of energy on the grid. So there are many different sources of electricity but wind is one of the fastest growing is an, and an increasingly part of uh, the economy. Wind is powering opportunity here in America. Roy, talk to us about what it's like being a wind farmer in the U.S. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been pretty interesting. You know, there's been a lot of change in the 18 years that I've been in the industry. Um, you know, from the turbines being so small and the turbines that are, are, you know, they're real big and, you know, they're able to produce, you know, three megawatts and plus now. Um, you know, I, I started as a, a technician. I worked my way up to a facility manager, and I'm a uh, facility manager for Apex Clean Energy, and, and now I oversee uh, two wind farms in West Texas and uh, a solar farm in Fort Hood, Texas. Uh, one of those uh, wind farms also provides uh, electricity to the, the Fort Hood as well as the solar farm. Um, you know, and then we also have uh, technicians. Uh, we have a team of six technicians that climb uh, 300 feet in the air. Uh, on a daily basis to perform uh, routine uh, uh, inspections, uh, maintenances, and troubleshoot on a daily basis to keep the turbines running, so that way we can produce, uh, keep producing power uh, to provide to the Texas grid. Have you seen the industry change since you began? Well, two things I, I come to mind. Uh, like I said before, uh, the machines have been a lot smaller, were a lot smaller when I first started, I mean, like kilowatts, you know, they weren't producing much of anything, the turbines are smaller, uh, you can climb these things without stopping, now they're so big, you know, 300 feet in the air, you know, you, you have to stop to take breaks, uh, the blades are much bigger, the equipment inside the, the, uh, these turbines are, are bigger, you have more sophisticated technology, um, which makes the, uh, the turbine more reliable, more efficient, and we can uh, produce the, the power in, uh, with lower cost. And what do, you, what do you think is next for wind power? Well, we anticipate continued growth, continued improvement in the efficiency and the generation of electricity um, from the wind turbine. So we're excited by that because the cost will come even further down. So we'll be able to have very affordable, inexpensive electricity for manufacturing facilities. That's going to lead to more growth. We have more under construction right now, um, and a lot of it's in Texas. We currently have 25,000 jobs in Texas. We're anticipating growing that number as we build more wind farms. We'll also um, likely be building more factories. We have 46 manufacturing facilities in Texas, and we anticipate more. So in the future, it's going to be more excitement. We will also see more offshore wind farms. We have a couple offshore wind turbines now, but that's a whole new industry that's getting created. We anticipate a good 25,000 more jobs from the offshore wind industry. So between offshore and onshore, this is an exciting time for the wind industry, and that's what we're celebrating this American Wind Week. 
Okay, where do we learn more from y'all? We encourage people to go to powerofwind.org. So it's powerofwind.org that'll give you the information both about the industry, uh, whether it's the facts about it, ways to get involved, and very much if you're looking for a job or a career, go to powerofwind.org to learn more and to get involved. Wind is powering opportunity, and we need more people involved in our good industry. Very good. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Stick around. We've got more stuff.